Hi kids, Becca here with a quick SketchUp tip, exporting a view as an image file. This is a great way to send images of your model to friends or clients, create presentation boards, or add to your website. Here's a model I drew for a 10,000 square foot home. I need to send my clients a few different views of their great room based on the furniture they chose for the space to make sure they and I are visualizing the end result the same way. Because this is a 10,000 square foot home, you maybe can imagine how large my SketchUp file would be if all of the furniture pieces were in this one model. So I have a series of SketchUp files of each space that contain the furniture for that room. So I'm able to model more quickly. That's why the only furniture is in the great room where I will actually be working. First, we need to set up the view that we want to showcase. So orbit, pan, and zoom until you have the perfect view. I kind of like how this one is, but I have a few things in my way. So I'm going to go over to my layers toolbar where I have set up my layers correctly. I'm going to be doing a video on that another time. And I'm going to turn off the layers that are in my way. So I've got, I need my ceiling on. So I'm gonna turn on my ceiling. I need to turn off my interior walls turn off my interior doors. I think I'll get rid of my stairs too. I also need to get room, rid of my room names. You can see right there, there's some letters hanging out. So I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, so now I can orbit a little bit more pan and set up my view. So at this point, please keep in mind that everything in your modeling window will be exported to the image file, even if there are toolbars in the way, such as the default tray. You may want to close this tray or move it around like I have here so you can see your entire view better. So now that that's out of my way, I can get my view set up the way that I want. But once that is set up, go to your scenes toolbar in the default tray and create a scene by clicking the plus sign. And once it's cycled through and added the scene, make sure you name the scene. So when you click through each one, you're gonna know exactly what's in store for each view. I'm gonna name mine Great Room North. And then I'm going to update my scene just in case, and then I'm going to save. So if you don't know Control S yet for save, Control S is one of your best friends. There are a couple of best friends in here in SketchUp and one of them is save. I'm gonna do another view and create a new scene. I'm going to do a bird's eye view. So I'm getting into top view. I'm turning off my ceiling so I can see through it here. I'm going to add a new scene. I can do that in the default tray or I can actually use one of the scene tabs. I can right click or context click and choose add and then go back to my scenes toolbar and rename it. Update my scene, generates through and then save again. So now we can correctly export an image. The first export I wanna do is from the Great Room North scene. So I'll click that tab. You go to the File menu, choose Export 2D Graphic. Navigate to where you want to save your image, which I've already done, and change the file type to suit your needs. Now I'm using SketchUp Pro, which means I have more options than those of you using the free version, such as PDF and DWG and DWG. DXF files. JPEGs exported from SketchUp are high resolution. You can see this if you click the options button, you can see that the pixels are high. I'm happy with JPEG. If I wanted to use it on the web, I would choose PNG, but I'm going to keep it as a JPEG. Name the file appropriately. I'm naming mine Great Room North View because that's what it is. And then we wait for it to export now, some of you, depending on the size of your file, you are not going to get this black screen. My file is still rather large, so that's why I got the black screen, but not to worry. 
I can go to where I saved and sure enough it's there. And now I need to crop it. You can open this with Photoshop if you know Photoshop or paint, but I need to crop it so the extra stuff on the sides is not showing. You can use the select tool to draw a rectangle over what you want to keep in paint. Then click crop and then save. I'm going to close out of paint and open this image file in Windows Viewer so I can get a nice view of how it will look. Voila! A beautiful image to give to my clients or even put on my website. So I'm going to finish making scenes and exporting images and while I'm doing that click to subscribe below to see more quick tips like this one. Catch you next time!